Hi, Leah. Hey. Welcome to your palm reading session. Is this your first time getting your palm read? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take a look at the palm itself. Uh, I'm going to read the lines on your hand, and then I'm going to do some energy work based on the, the aura I'm sensing from you and if there's anything stuck along the way. So go ahead and put your hands out, up like that, perfect. I'm just gonna take a first visual inspection. Would you mind just removing your rings for me, please? Sure. Perfect. So just on a quick visual inspection, what I'm doing is separating the lines, the natural lines of our hands from our grips, from the lines that give us information about our life. And with palm reading, what we're looking for is guidance. Uh, it's not, nothing set in stone. The lines are fluid, but it'll help tell us a little bit more about what we're worried about, what we're working on. Looking here with my light. I see you've had many adventures in life. You have many fractured lines here. so. Quite a few changes, quite a few different paths. Can you put your hands up like this for me, please? down face like this. And the back of the hands do have a little less information on them, but they're nonetheless important. And then gently look here. On the other side. Perfect. Okay, and flip it back over for me. I'm just gonna have you shake out and relax your hands and gently place them back. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look. So I'm gonna start with your right side here. And what I can see is a long through line for the relationship here. looks like it starts very low on the base of your hand so perhaps you met someone in your life that's very impactful very young and it stays relatively unfractured until the end of the lifeline here see this triangle here mm -hmm. so what this is telling me is You've had two paths in life, two purpose paths, that's somehow related, but have now funneled into a final purpose path. Did you have a different ambition when you were growing up? Something that you mm -hmm. thought you'd do that you're not doing now? Yeah. Does it relate to what you're doing now in any way? Um, yeah, I think so. So that could have just been that you could have taken two different paths, but either way, no matter what, you were going to end up on this final path. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing now is likely what you're going to continue to do until the end of that lifeline. And this one's a little bit peculiar, this line up here. Not everybody has that. It shows me you're a very empathetic person. Mm. You may even have someone else's lifeline on your hand because you have yours here mm. and then you have the parallel one here. So there's someone else in your life that is gonna be forever attached to you so much so that they're actually a part of your story, a part of your journey. Up like this. 
seeing just a little bit of there's definitely going to be a change at some point where you're going to become a slightly different person not in a bad way just growth sometimes that can mean uh, you'll have a family um, and that sort of is in a whole nother set mm. of experiences but it can also just mean that you'll continue to grow as a person and that your personality will change just a little bit Take a look at the other hand you can go ahead and relax that one for me and place that right in the center Perfect. I can tell here you're you're an analytical person a little more analytical than creative and you're able to problem solve and you're maybe the person that everyone's going to when they need help when they need an issue resolved does that ring true at all yeah it could be a lot of responsibility to be that person so we have the creative line and the analytical line and it looks like your creative line's a bit shorter and it will lie a little bit deeper and stronger and it goes right through. So that's how I was able to determine that. It's possible you're at a bit of a crossroads right now where you're not that analytical and creative side so it gets a little bit messy right in the middle here. You might not be at that yet. I'm not sure at what point that that occurs, but there might be a point where something piques your interest that's different than usual. But it does look like the analytical side may win out on that. So if you mm. find yourself confused or leaning one way that you weren't expecting, uh, you can definitely fall back on those original skills of thinking and processing that, that work well for you. I'm just looking up here. Hmm. I'm sensing just a little bit of energy blockage, especially on this side. Mm. A little bit of dueling uh, energy fighting, so we're going to make sure to definitely do some cleansing over here. Can you flip this over for me? I just wanted to check right in here. Okay. So this side is definitely a little bit less sure. Uh, I would say on the one hand, literally, <laughs> uh, your future feels very set. You know, you're a very analytical person. Your, your love line and your life line seem very solid. But on this side, there's a lot of room for growth and change. Mm -hmm. And you still have a lot of control over that. Uh, so you should never feel like your fate is set. Um, but you do have those strong relationships and that strong uh, through line to guide you along your way. Okay, you can go ahead and put your rings back on if you'd like. And then just set your hands right here whenever way. Perfect. I'm going to start with a little bit of stonework. Mm -hmm. I'm just using this fossilized stone to break up some of that energy and prepare the hands for the healing session. The hands can be a very powerful part of the body. Um, have you ever heard of reflexology? Mm -mm. So what essentially the tradition is known for is that certain parts of the hands when pressed can affect different organs and parts of the body. Mm. And so the energy is the same way as the physical here, that the energy around the hands is very important for the balance of the rest of the body. Open this palm for me and go ahead and grasp that. Flip it 
back over this one, grasp. Place this right in the center and just exactly hug that with your thumbs. I'm going to hold this on your heart. To flip your hands over for me. Yeah. Plucking a little bit of energy here. Side's feeling okay, this side's still a little stuck. What causes uh, stuck energy? So it can be a couple of things, um, but essentially the energy should sort of flow in around in an affinity shape pattern. Mm -hmm. And when you have blockages, there's stress, um, part of the aura, is a very strong color and it should be flowing through on the spectrum my job is to get that energy moving and flowing and sometimes that does take an outside uh, pr perspective to come in and help with that mm -hmm. um, once the energy gets stuck in a part of our body uh, it's hard for it to work itself out mm -hmm. so what i'm doing is just moving it around and using a bit of reiki to do that and reiki's just a, a healing technique that many people use to keep our energy flowing well it's just important to listen to our body and and you can even sense your own energy if you just feel mm. just a little bit far away here and it takes some practice to be able to feel it and it can tell you a lot about what's going on in your head and in your body okay. I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, gentle being here. A sound can also be a really important tool to get energy flowing correctly. It's all based on the waves that our body naturally emits. You know, everything has an energy. Everything interacts with each other. As we know, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Mm -hmm. So it will never just dissipate by itself. It has to be removed. The 
Let me know if anything is uncomfortable. over for me please sense here. Okay, it's flowing a lot better. I definitely feel like it's less blocked. Mm. You feel any lighter? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let me take one last look here at the palm. I just want to specifically look here because that's where I was not really able to read as well. And this is of course just my interpretation. If you go to another reader, they might have a slightly different one. So again, using as a guide and not as a manual. So I think before where I was seeing that the analytical side and the creative side would sort of duel and the analytical side would win out, I think perhaps the line thickens after they meet. So maybe that means that they'll both play a role and that instead it will meet in the middle and you'll have a little bit of creativity embedded in that analytical side of things. That could be very powerful. Okay. All right, Leah, so that's the end of today's reading. Thank you so much. I hope that you're able to take something away from it and uh, that you feel a little bit more balanced today. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any other questions before we? No, thank you so much. I definitely feel better and, and lighter. I really appreciate it. Good. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in today.